Welcome back everyone. I installed watchOS 7 on my Apple Watch Series 4. Now this is like my main watch that I use on an everyday basis so it was kind of a process to do it. I had to unpair it then pair it up with another iPhone on iOS 14 and basically at the end of it I mean it is what it is. Now one thing I'll tell you right off the bat is that watchOS 7 actually is a little bit faster than watchOS 6 and what I mean by that is to get into basically let's just say the app menu for example if I go and tap that right you can see that it's almost instantaneous now all my other watches are on watch os 7 as well but when i was comparing it the other day i was able to see that for the most part almost every single time the watch os 7 device was faster than my watch os 6 device and even my watch os 7 series 3 was faster than my watch OS 6 device on my series 4 which is this one but now it's even faster so that's really great so that's one thing you're immediately going to see that thing really threw me off and i'm really glad they actually put it in there now we did get a couple of new features within watchOS 7. I'm not going to go through every single little one. I'll just hit on the, basically the main ones and talk about my experience with my watchOS 7 on my Series 4. Now the first thing being is the new sleep tracking. So as you guys know, you guys have probably already seen, but within watchOS 7 we do have this new sleep feature capability. So if you wear your watch when you're sleeping, you can now actually track the amount of hours you sleep and all that good stuff and how much sleeping you're actually doing. Now here's a little example. So basically it'll tell you, you know, you slept, this is basically that you're times that you are trying to sleep so 10 p.m. I'll sleep 7 a.m. I'll wake up you can kind of see a whole different time of your sleep data and all those different type of things and this is really really cool for people who still wear their watch when they're sleeping to get access to all that different things and whatever that means I don't even know what I was trying to say there but I think that's really cool we now have this capability within watchOS 7 which is really cool and you also have new complications as well you have some for astronomy you have some for the camera remote and you also have sleep time ones as well so if you click you can go and change the complications here and you have so many different new ones which is really cool i think it's like three or four or five that are actually new which is really cool so that's a really really awesome one as well so you can see the sleep one right here now one interesting thing within watch os 7 that i don't know why they did and i could have sworn it was still here but it's apparently the force touch so apparently force touch is now changed to haptic feedback so instead of force touching into it like we could have done before we actually hold it down and then it gets into it so for example like that you see how I didn't force touch into it, I just kind of tapped on it, like just like this, just like haptic feedback. It is exactly haptic feedback. And then we get into here. So I think that's a little weird if we force touch, as you can see, nothing happens. I'll do it again, nothing happens. But again, haptic feedback is here. So I don't know why they did this. It looks like they took away the haptic feed. It looks like they took away the force touch and added haptic feedback. So I don't know why they did that. It's very weird, but it is what it is. We also have a couple new watch faces as well. I think it's two new watch faces. So that's a really cool thing that was added. And also at the end of it, we now have this new share capability too. So I can share this watch face to different people if they want to see it. And I think that's a really cool thing. Again, not like a deal breaking thing or anything, but a cool different thing that, you know, if I had a whole different setup, I can go and send it to somebody else and get some more capability that way too, which is really cool. So that's really pretty much it. Those are some of the main differences within watchOS 7. Again, not like a groundbreaking update, but cool different features were added at the end of the day. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. Again, my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly, everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.